How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also head over to Twitch, follow me there, Douglas447. I try to stream there at least once a week. You guys can also find me on Discord at 6957. And as always, we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite. This is Rant Episode 28. If you guys have missed out on the past ones, you guys can check them out in the Halo Infinite playlist or in the Rant playlist. And we're going to be talking about the current state of the game and the big question um, in this video I kind of want to talk about and continue talking about in the comments section is has Halo as a franchise been killed by 343? Um, I have played a few hours of the yapping event and I've streamed it so you guys can check out those streams they are still up so you guys can watch the replay the yapping event is slash was epic it was very fun I, I loved the fiesta chaos when it came to BTB a lot more carnage when it came to power weapons and to being able to actually uh, use the wraith and the wasp and the scorpion more than once in a blue moon but with the recent change in the higher up management at 343 with Bonnie Ross leaving because of family emergencies, um, I feel like the game is at a state now that even though we've gotten the roadmap for the winter update and then season three coming out next March, which still hurts to say, um, a lot of people are like, okay, is the game going to recover? Is the game going to get more content? Is it going to be, you know, an actual live service instead of just getting two maps every six months? Like, when you think about it, we have gotten, since this game has launched, four maps and basically three game modes. We've gotten mini Battle Royale, we've gotten team doubles, and then we've had the yapping. And that is it. In a year, that is it. We've had three new game modes and four maps. And the game just feels very stale. And with the recent roadmap release, a lot of people, unfortunately, and myself included, are teetering to the fact that this game is going to just die. Like, I don't think that the winter update's going to help this game. I don't think Season 3 is going to help this game. Yes, Forge might look amazing, but that's a very small pocketed community, and I don't think that's going to save this game. Not when games like Battlefield 2042 are making a gigantic comeback right now. We've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with Warzone 2.0 and DMZ and proper 6v6 um, multiplayer and updates constantly for that. We've got Scorn, we've got Deliver Us Mars, we've got Skull and Bones, we have Overwatch 2 coming out, we've got the new Destiny expansion coming out in February. Halo Infinite has a lot of current competition that it needs to fight and 343, I don't think, in the past year and in the next year has or will do enough updates to Halo Infinite to keep it afloat and to keep it relevant. I don't think this game's going to survive. I think that come November, December, even with the fall update and even with Forge, the game's going to just be average at best and barely played at worst. I don't think that when season three rolls around, a lot of people are going to be all that curious and interested. Like me, myself, I'm going to check out the content for the fall update no matter what. And I'm going to check out season three, but I'm not in the mindset to grind out more event passes. I'm not in the mindset that when season three rolls around that I'm like, oh, it's going to be amazing. Yay. I'm like, I'm not excited. I'm not hyped. I'm excited for more Battlefield stuff and all these other games and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And it's sad that a franchise like Halo has just become mediocre in terms of playability and hype and expectations. And it's like, you know, we have all these hopes and dreams. So we do have expectations, but it's like the game itself doesn't seem to have any and the people designing it don't. And I think 343 has done a very bad job with Halo Infinite's live service, as they call it. And I don't think this game is going to get 10 years of support. I don't see that happening. I don't see Halo Infinite being something like the Destiny franchise. I, I, I see this game, you know, getting supported um, 
for another year or two. So I think around like, you know, probably 2024, 2025, um, we're going to get another Halo. I don't think they're going to keep this game alive that long. I might be wrong. I, you know, you know, years down the line, this video might be out of date in that statement, but I don't think 343 is going to keep this game alive as long as they intended to do so. Um, so that's my opinion. You guys are welcome to agree or disagree with me in the comment section. And that's going to do it for me. And now I'm going to go play some Battlefield 2042 and actually have fun in a balanced multiplayer that is constantly getting updates and tweaks. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.